What is up guys, Daniel here and welcome back to another video on the channel. I know I've been away for a while and I have a good reason for that, which I'm trying to like save for another occasion. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and you'll know when it comes out, hopefully soon. Today I just wanted to make a quick little video answering one of my subscribers or maybe not subscribers questions to a video that I did about iPad studying tips and workflow and apps. You can check that video out after this video if you want. But he basically asked, is there a way to put files inside folders within the apps like file management uh, system? And so the short answer is yes. And the way you do it is so backwards in my opinion, but you will see why in a few. So let's just get right into the video. We're gonna open up liquid text. As you can see how I have things laid out is that I have folders, right? And each folder seems to have folders within. And then you have their documents which you can tap and just open up like what you would think. We're gonna go over here to the cloud icon to import a file from my iPad. We're going to be choosing this book here, right? As it imports, it automatically opens up into your app, whether you like it or not. Now that it's open, we're going to go back to home. As you can see, it's placed right here in the home tab, right here. But what if you don't want it here? So let's say I want to put this into a folder. We're going to tap the folder icon over here. Right, sadly, I don't know why it doesn't like automatically prompt you to rename it, but we're gonna rename it right here by just swiping to the left like that. Press rename and we're gonna rename it something. All right. Press done, now something is here. Logically, we would think that we can just hold this and just drag it inside, right? That's probably what you did first. But sadly, liquid text does not work in that sense, which is the weirdest thing ever. So what you have to do is you have to press edit. Then you have to check the little circle here to say that, okay, this is the document that you want. Then you're going to press move to. And it brings up a dialogue where you choose where you want to move it, right? It's so caveman that I don't even know what to say about it. So. After this, we're gonna click something. And you see there's nothing in it, so you won't see anything. Then you press move files. And then when you're done, you have to press done because that's just how it works. So you press done. Now, see the file that we were wanting to move is now gone. And when you press something, it's right there, ready for you to work on it, right? With the workspace and everything. Now, a couple of things I want to talk about just so that you finally like understand how to use this. So, of course, I have it in list view, but you can press this icon over here to turn it into grid view, which some people, you know, might like more, right? I just feel like it's kind of like a waste of space, so I turn it back into list. Of course, this is the add folder button, this is the search. You can sort by name, by date. Then you have the edit button, which allows you to rename stuff, right? You can rename stuff like that too. Yeah, you can tap multiple if you want. You can delete it, you can share it. And that's pretty much basically what you can do in terms of file management in Liquitex. So hopefully this answered your question and helps make your life using Liquitex much more easier. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.